What did she do? The Aiel woman. She wandered into the wrong town at the wrong time. You understand me? No. Be more vague, please. <laughs> Smile. Hope we said that right. J.K. Calloway here. Wish you well and jump back into the wheel of time. We're on episode five, halfway point. We're past it. This one's called Domain. I'm assuming Domain might be Demane, eh? because someone is quite demonic. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, last episode. Moral of the story is: don't leave your first love. Because the next chick you meet is going to be born of blood. Basically, Rand really knows how to pick them. Like, easily fooled by a hot chick. Don't do it. It never ends well for people. See the smile? That's a plotting smile. She going to kill me tonight. Not tonight. Maybe tonight. But no, yeah, we saw earlier in the season, uh, Ishmael, like, conjured somebody. And we found out who that somebody was because, yeah, Rand was about to get attacked, right? I think. Yeah. And he was very confused. He didn't know what the hell was going on. But, you know, uh, Moraine showed up, slit the bitch's throat, and they got out of there. But then shortly thereafter, she we saw her wake up from that, like... Uh, well, shit. I want to know the hell she is. <laughs> if they explain. Because, I don't know. We'll find out. Some kind of dark magic or whatever. But, it's not good. From the point of view that we're watching the story, yeah, it's not good at all. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm telling you, you got to watch Cobra Kai. It's a whole new perspective on the story we know. It's always been LaRusso's the good guy. What about Johnny? This is our what about Johnny moment in Wheel of Time. Yep, the shows are that similar. Same kind of through lines. The magic's a little... Actually, no, lying. The, the, the wire work's ridiculous in Cobra Kai. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Wolfie yeah. has found himself a pack. Yeah, he has. And hopefully, you know, good things... Because he's making friends with with the wolves. He's well. He's learning his power. He's getting control of his power, yeah. which will be really fun going forward. And there's always the naive thing. We gotta pay attention to. Yep. Because she's getting some stroke. Everyone's kind of, I'm sure, heard about what she did, and it's kind of like, oh, we gotta kiss that ass. And I don't think she's liking it. Well, that's why she's running away to go save her friends. Right. Because uh, red bitch. Red bitch. Um, with just an unbelievable jawline. Like, I can't. Mm -hmm. That is. It's an aggressive jawline. You can cut walnuts on that thing. Right? Um, I said is... cut walnuts. <laughs> we usually say crack walnuts with like an ass. Nope. With that jawline, you cut them. Because um, she's got something she's playing at. For sure. Because she, uh, she basically sent Nynaeve off. Right. By proxy with the, the seer that we met earlier. So the seer's working for. Red bitch, or being forced to. We're not sure yet. We're guessing forced to. She's got some kind of dangling carrot. But, yeah, Nynaeve's smart. She'll figure it out. Well, Nynaeve hasn't met the seer yet. Oh, I'm thinking Matt. Sorry. You're thinking Matt. <laughs> yeah, Matt's seer, off with the, seer. And, and the, car the carrot is, she's going to take her power away. Who? Oh, seer? Yeah. She's going to take the seer's power away? Yeah. If that's she what helps? She wants. Yeah. I guess. That's... Yeah, she sees too much, understandably. But... You'd like that power. You'd like to control that power. Apparently she cannot. She just sees everything, and that would be horrendous. Nynaeve. It, um, was told her bestie, I'm, I'm out of here. Right. I'm going to go save our friends. Mm-hmm. And then they all started walking down. With Princess. With, with Princess. Mm-hmm. Red bitch. No, she has a name. Cannot remember it. They all are going to go on an adventure. Red bitch shows up and is like, eh... You, princess, you were not supposed to be a part of this trio. I'm really sorry. And then she knocked them all out. That's what we right. last saw. Yep. So we'll see. 
Uh, also, Siobhan's got a like a superhero shirt on. Show him the sleeve, Siobhan. It, it, apparently, it heats up her back. Yeah. She's usually got like a heat pad on her back whenever we watch shows. But now she's got a shirt that does it. Mm -hmm. And I smell burning. No, you don't. So I'm scared. Oh, yeah, you're going to light this place up. You do not Are smell. you going to bed in that? No. Okay. I'm not going to sleep in this. It'll get too freaking hot. You're already a furnace as is. I know. So why would I? No. Just saying. Like, I don't want to roll over, try to hold you, and get singed. No, this is. I already do. From his back. <laughs> Domain. Was that her name? Did we were... I'm sure we heard her name. Blood Witch. Blood situation girl thing. We'll find out, but. Ah. She's, she's, I don't know. She seems like she'd be gooey. The way she came into the world. Very gooey. Right. She was... Born of blood. Yep. Gooey. That's how most babies are. No. They're very solid. She looked gooey. She looked jello. Like a... Like a, like a gelatin. Okay, that's what you're going for. What else are we going for? Well, when we saw her drop out of she the thingy... She looked like coagulation. She just was covered in blood. That was gooey. That's disgusting. Anyway. We'll find out if she gets gooey again. Here we go. Hello. Oh, they're on the sea now. Yay. Where's Daenerys and her dragons? Hi, Lord Turok. Oh, those are rings. Royal okay. Commander of the Helene. Lady Suroth will speak for herself before the High Lord. You invaded a village without permission. What? I've brought back an Ogier slave, a Shinarn Lord. By what and... right do you claim to make decisions over your Lord Commander? Perhaps my Lord made a mistake. Oh, I do not make mistakes. Neil. That's like presentable. What was that? Oh, they're cutting off her fingers. They have to... It's gonna take grow. a while. That's the point. A gift from the village we captured. I know you're a collector of ancient things. You. <laughs> oh, you prick. I give you... It's a, the dagger, is it? Of the horn of Valyr. Oh, okay. With this. The whole world will be ours. I don't know. I think Daenerys dragons could make quick work of that. She was the bad guy the whole time, Siobhan. That's what I learned. Don't trust women. They'll go nuts. She was on her period that day. Burned the place to the ground. She's a forsaken. How did she? If we survive tonight, I'll explain everything. I'm commandeering your fastest horses on behalf of the Amelin seat in the White Tower. There's no way I'll let you just take my horses. You're coming with us. And if they're not saddled in two minutes, I swear you will regret this night. Hey, what are you doing? There are four horses. I cannot give her a way to follow us. Oh. I mean, I get it, but... Yeah. Logically, it made sense, but it's sad. Oh. Mm. I, she'll go that route, then. Good evening, my lady. Do you need help? Yes. What happened to your horse? Hi. You did not defeat the Dark One at the Eye of the World. You set his strongest lieutenant free. And now Ishamael is loose and he has released Lanfear. If he releases them all, well then we have no hope of winning the last battle. Why dead bodies there? To remind people? Yeah, but like, are they even in a... Like, I don't know. That will be loud, my father. I was gonna say... We don't want them to hear you. Do we know you? I wouldn't get too close. Last man who touched her cage had his arm broken and practically ripped off. What did she do? The Aiel woman. She wandered into the wrong town at the wrong time. You understand me? No! Be more vague, please. Where are they? 
Who? The woman and man travelling with you. Whose idea was it? This little trick. The ice to dies. The young man. Seemed to be half in a daze. Only following them. Of course he was. Eventually they'll have to sleep, won't they? And I'll have them. I'll not tell nobody you were looking for them. Oh, I know you won't. I mean, that's light years nicer what you did to the last guy with the horse, but Jesus Now she's going to starve to death. I think she can cut through those. It might hurt, but... She brought him into the... Wait, yeah. Why did she bring them in to the... You broke the three oaths. I've broken many. You weren't recruiting me for the Red Argent, were you? You were recruiting me for him. It would make what's to come easier for you. You're the one that wanted to go to that filthy fishing village. My desires are my own. But I'm paying the price. We should just kill Turok and be done with it! It seems your stupidity is second only to your inability to control your temper. You are here at my invitation. And I know why you swore your oaths to the dark. I forget myself, my lord. Hmm. Hmm. Better be sure. Hold on. One wetlander puts me in a cage. Another takes me out. Why do you help me? People shouldn't be in cages. Okay, fair enough, but it's gonna take her a second to Oh yeah. Uncramp. What's the first thing you do? You stretch. My name is Savienda. Okay, thank you. She is Fuck. Uh huh. Attack all at once on my signal. One at a time and she'll have you. So okay. Do you like to dance? <laughs> Damn. The rest will come down on us. We have to hurry. I mean, you could have dislocated his arm or something real quick. Like, just slow him down. Popped his knee out. Yep. Lantia was famous for two things among the Forsaken. Her casual cruelty and her mastery of Teller and Riode. Tell him right. The world of dreams. Yeah. Freddy Krueger shit. All right. I, I could hardly believe it when Mother said you were here. It's that hair. It's been twenty years. You must be my aunt's warder. Mm. I'm not a warder. This is Rand. You don't <laughs> need to say his name. So they're all the black, Aja. Right. I had expected our master to meet me himself. Our master has more important things to do than play fetch with his dog. What you do to these women is an abomination. Perhaps the Shan Chan should learn proper respect for the One Power. Our Sultan hmm. trained for years to prove themselves worthy. They earn their right, unlike the I. But they train forever. And all Marath Damane will be leashed eventually. Damane. Perhaps mm. I will be the one to place the collar around your lovely throat. Mm. What'd you just leave her? Oh. The hell are you smelling her for? You're still screwing her over. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Where's the queen? Jia 
Kato is the Ayil way. You saved my life. My water is yours. Mm -hmm. It is not a lover, Wetlander. Though I would not be opposed. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, don't worry, parent of two rivers. I will not attack you in a fit of lust. <laughs> I'm hoping to meet a couple of our novices. Girls with quite some power, if I've heard correctly. Egwene Alvia and Nynaeve Almira. Yes. I'd heard on the road back that a royal envoy going to Camelin was attacked south of here. By whom? Bandits or white cloaks, but if the girls were with them, come we must talk to the keeper immediately. Mm-hmm. So she knows that it's her. She There's, has to know that it, like that's a weird play. Part of it, but like what's and she's like, what the fuck is her play? Uh-huh. There's the kitten. You may ask one thing of me. The High Lady Suroth has a gift for you. Who are you? Rhyme of the Yellow Aja. No. Oh. Okay. The High Lady Suroth has put out your descriptions and everyone in this city is looking for you. Okay, I guess, yeah. Do you have any idea what these Shonchan do to women who can channel? Why don't you just hide them <laughs> instead of knocking them out? Are um, we going to hurt you, Gwen? Uh-oh. She was a novice being trained at the White Power. She has more power than any Demonte we've seen in a very, very long time. She put her on a leash, like legit. Literally. You said I can't sleep with you fun. Yes. She will. You want her to. She loved the Dragon Reborn. And that he loved her before he met his wife. You want me to pretend to be in love with a Forsaken? Lanfear is working with Ishamil. This could be our only chance to find out what he wants. <laughs> She'll see right through. Maybe, maybe she might. You can play pretend. Round. Right. Ooh. <laughs> I mean that this time. Now you're just gonna lay your head down and fall asleep? Oh! Sweet. Oh, they had to show up the apps. Got it. Finally. Well, she had a plan. <laughs> What's her plan? Because if, you know, Moraine's right, she loves him. Mm -hmm. But when he fell asleep, he's immediately tied up. And that might have been their kink. Well, I'm not here she, to shame, but... That was how she left it. That's how they... But it was on a bed in warmth with a roof. He's in the desert. Yeah, she's, she's going to destroy that boy. Yeah, she is. In fun ways at first. Yeah. And then I think some bad things. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard this, Siobhan, but uh, men can fake being in love pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's what we do. It's not that we're not in love, we just don't know how to act. Like, what are we supposed to do? What do we do with our hands? I don't... Uh, as an example, in general, other men, not me. What do we do with our hands? What the fuck does that have to do with well, sometimes fucking when you're, anything? When you're pretend, you just don't know what to do with your hands. You ever have just talk, talking, you're just kind of like... No, I talk with my hands, so that's never an issue. Your hands are holding your tea at all times. In this particular instance. You see, you just did I that, am. and that was very fake and forced. You, know, really you don't. Yeah. Really wasn't. I but used no. my hands earlier yeah, when we were did. talking about stuff. No, I thought what she meant. You are so silly. Yes, I am. I'm talking about the kitty. No Isn't she cares. the cutest little girl? I probably cut that part from the episode. Ow, you're attacking my toes. The she's, cat's biting my toes. She's playing. She's she trying loves to us. hurt me. Anyway. Get a girl. I could keep trying, but you made me get snipped. That's your choice. She made me. She held me down on the table. I wasn't allowed in the room. Used a soldering for iron. Fear 
that on I might hurt balls. your feelings. That was weird. Like, they wouldn't let her stay in the room because apparently there had been too many times where the woman was in the room going, Suck it up, bitch! Like, it happened enough at that clinic where they're like, yeah, women aren't allowed. Our partners aren't allowed. Super weird. Wasn't allowed. You, and you wouldn't have done that. You would have watched. Like, you, like, it was, like when she gave birth, I grabbed some granola and yogurt and watched them stitch her up. I'm just kind of like, huh. Fun. Like, well, what's the problem? Just... They wouldn't let you watch the epidural shot, though. Which is weird. It's just the needle. Right. But they wouldn't, so that was weird. the one. They, they wouldn't let you watch that. They're like, right? nope. But nope. they let me watch the birth and her getting stitched up afterward and like, had general cleanup and whatnot. It's like, but I can't watch a needle go in? What the fuck's wrong with you? That's so weird. Anyway. You're vas- welcome. Vasectomies are fun. But anyway, enough about our privates. <laughs> That'll be interesting because, I mean, can obviously Moraine doesn't have her powers right now. No. So, like, if... What's her nuts? And I can't like can't remember her name. Like they said it a number of times, and I can't remember her name. The the blood witch situation. But uh, if she decides to jump into reality, and like if Rand wakes up or whatever, you know she figures out where they are and catches up. Moraine's kind of useless right now, as far as power goes. Right. And not as far as cunning or anything, as this is her plan, and hopefully Rand can. Like, I don't know what Rand's supposed to do, other than, what, make her trust him? Well, also, Rand has to trust the one power. He's it's not, inside of him. Right? He's not, yeah. He doesn't want to use it. He doesn't want it. He, he doesn't... He's freaked out by it. He's Because of all the stories. Right. Not only of just, like, he just talked to someone for a while right. who was, like, essentially in a loony bin. Yeah. You know, who was loony a little bit. Yeah. Because of, well, not probably. I mean, I'm like I can't imagine if you have that, you you get a little crazy. Even if you're like I see, like, like the women will go to a, like a specialty training facility where they learn how to not only control one power but probably realize you know learn how to control their emotions about it because it might make you a little nuts, especially with the power trip it would give you, right? Men don't have that apparently in this world, so plus fucking men's egos are, you know, bad enough as is. Like, let me have something levitate. I'm going to be the cockiest son of a bitch in the world. Like, here, let me see if I can raise you up just a little bit. Like, okay. Wow, look at that! That's that very cool. Give me all your money. You didn't hear the part where I whispered, right? Thank you. But, I, I don't know. Like, he's probably scared that he's going to hurt everyone he cares about. Plus, I'm pretty sure he heard that that's what he's going to do anyway, right? And plus, he's the dragon reborn, so he's evil. Yeah. Well, and then there's, I don't know, there's that piece about Ish... Ish Ishamel. I think it's Ishamel. Or Ishamel? Ishamel. Ishameli? Dude. Don't know. This is, like, he's got all, all of these characters are his... Pieces Puppets. are he's like he. He's got a lot of power. Like and I, we, we don't know who the the dark one is yet. We mm. still haven't met the dark one. We thought it was him at the end of season one. Maybe it's someone we know. Maybe it's the red lady. Doubt it. No, but she's gonna be. She wants to be a. I mean, she's kind of on the Black Aja side, but right. She saw what that particular community was doing with the women, and that right. pissed her off and mm-hmm. she's like fuck no Fair. and then she ended up freeing the girls Almost. hoping right Almost. hoping that we could they would fight get out of it quick enough to fucking fight back but meatloaf um two out of three in bed that's what you're going for <laughs> the, i uh because the song that i was thinking now that song has gone um objects in the rear view mirror may yeah. appear closer than they are is that the title of the song? There, there's, he has a song, yeah. It was the second hit after I Would Do Anything for Love, but I won't do that. Oh, no, not he had some long ass titles. No, it's the one that the. Da, 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 that's wrong. Oh no, I'm so interested now. What just happened? No, that is, is that me, love? Gonna go all the way tonight. Oh, Paradise by the Dashboard Light? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that one was the one in. Oh, he's got some long titles. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, go check out Meatloaf. I'm sure he's got a YouTube channel. 
It's got some bangers. But yeah, comments on the bottom. Let us know what you thought of that one. And yeah, there's a lot of questions. I like. I hope Girlie is okay. Who just got leashed? Does that mean they took away her power too, or just? No, I think or it's... It, like put a damper, like a damper on it, maybe. Maybe so and she also can't use like it against if she them. does use it, you know, choke collar. Right. It seems like it. it's fucked up. Um, kind of want to look into that. That might be my thing. For me, I wear it. You walk me around. I whimper. Hmm. Does it do it for you? Hmm. Is it your thing? Hmm. No? I'm trying to ignite something in her and I, it won't. Oh, you want the leash? No. Whine, whine a little bit. Give me a little whimper. I, I can't. Little whimper. Fuck off. Ooh, that's hot. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Juice. And she falls asleep with her eyes open. <laughs> Almost. Almost.